It's a very heavy story written for a very serious political occasion. It is very funny, and rather scurrilous, and rather satiric. There's an element of melodrama and even tragedy in it as well. It's such a confusion of styles, colors, and it almost has a sort of Elizabethan Shakespearean vastness to it. It was written for the royal wedding of Louis XIV and the Infanta of Spain, so it's a very public occasion kind of an opera, and it's telling an allegory to the king and the whole court and really all of Europe about likening Louis XIV to Hercules, the great hero. the very enlightened point of view of this opera about a great king and putting a mirror up to him and showing him his foibles and satirizing him in a way and warning him, but also praising him and glorifying him. It's a relic of its time, of course, but it's also a sort of fascinating glimpse of another world. To show the king as a sort of monster, as a sort of great hero who's seen his better days. It's an extraordinary thing. This is the enigma of this opera. Was he enlightened and amused enough to take it as a very satirical entertainment, or did he not even notice in the midst of all the celebration? The Cavalli brought a whole sense of irony about humanity and a whole kind of lighter side with him to Paris when he wrote this piece. And so I think that somehow a rather staid and somewhat uptight libretto is turned into a very multifaceted and very emotional and human and entertaining show.